kind of our schedule was this Saturday through Sunday we just drove on a bus we left 5 a.m. and it took a little bit over 25 hours to get to uh, the campus we had enough time to shower and then go to the morning service and I've never seen so many teenagers doze off during a service but you know what I was proud that they were in church and then Monday we went to Six Flags Great America and they had a great time there Tuesday we went to the mall then they started the youth conference that night and then Wednesday Thursday was kind of full-time youth conference and then we headed back Friday got back about 7 30 on Saturday yesterday so some of them are still sleep deprived so bear with us but we're just going to hear from our teams at this time teams I just want to hear tell us your name tell us a fun thing that you did and a decision that you made from the conference We'll start with TJ. Hi, my name is TJ. Um, one thing that I did was um, uh, doing the rain thingy, Majinga, whatever that was. So that means so at the college or at one of the services, they get the entire congregation uh, to start like clapping their hands, snapping their fingers, and they make it to where it literally sounds like a rainstorm comes through. It was really, really cool, especially. Uh, there's probably about five to six thousand teenagers in there, so when everyone's doing it, it sounds like a legit, legitimate rainstorm. And my decision was to go soul winning more and um, read my Bible. Uh, my name's Ben. One of my favorite parts was the music, and I made the decision not to let Satan control my life or the lives of my friends. Uh, my name's Michael. My favorite part was when they were doing an illustration. They called up this girl, but he actually needed a guy. <laughs> um, my decision was the same as that. It's not about saying I told my life. Uh, Good. So. What an impact that had on you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, I'm David. I would say one of my favorite parts of the conference is being able to see First Baptist in full swing oh. that Sunday morning. I really enjoyed that. And I decided that would be more of a treat just to be able to stay anchored in the faith. Okay, I'm JP, and um, the funnest thing I did was Six Flags, and um, my decision was to be a treat and to withstand the uh, wild winds of the day. Amen. And that was from Brother Abdel Judah. He closed out the services and just really preached on standing up in the youth group and being a tree, being yeah. firm in uh, your church. It was very very moving that was probably i'd say the most that uh, you saw people coming to the altar he had uh, just a bunch of men up on the platform linked together uh, but god definitely moved in that service i'm andrea and my favorite thing was probably going into that little lake thing on the way there because it was so hot um that was fun and then my favorite sermon was by brother joe brown um he just talked about how satan wants to um control like all the little kids lives he's not going for adults he's going for children and my decision was to just completely surrender my life and no matter what or who was in my life to just um, follow God and to trust him as I go to college and grow yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. and please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel <laughs> I vlog the trip there you go you got young influencers <laughs> Put it your channel. Andrea underscore with Andrea underscore Romero with two exclamation marks. There you go. <laughs> By the way, I will say, um, go and watch those services that they have. They have it on uh, for live stream and things like that. Especially uh, Pastor Joe Brown. I think every uh, parent to teenagers should watch that. He does. He goes through and shows different clips of. Uh, just between Disney and other networks on how they put these different images in there, and it's disgusting. I remember looking at my wife and just saying, I, I want to just go throw up. It's disgusting what they do in trying to manipulate manipulate kids and even adults. Hi, okay. My name is Summer, as you just said. Uh, my favorite part about conference was probably walking through the White Castle drive through at like 11. Uh -huh. It was pretty awkward, but it was fun. Huh? Yeah. Okay, that was. And my favorite sermon was also the one by Joe Brown. And I made like two big decisions. I decided to change my music, which I've said before, but I have a. Yeah. Anyways, that's my point. And I also.
also sort of my life to Christ, and I just thought that this thing was going to happen. You know, yeah. Yeah. We did. We, White Castle's lobby was closed, so we walked through it. Let me say, it was not worth the wait. <laughs> What was your favorite ride at Six Flags? The Goliath. Ready? My name is Olivia Murdoch, and uh, one of my favorite, well, the hardest things that I've done is listening to the preaching, and one of the decisions that I made is to get baptized. That's awesome. My name is Izzy. My favorite part was Cactus and Miley singing the toaster song. <laughs> and my decision was to focus more on God. Oh, and they did. They have different skits that they would have every night. That one definitely got my wife. I think she was doubled over laughing <laughs> from that. You should go see it. Hi, my name is Clara. Um, my favorite part was probably the skits and um, the carnival. And I made the decision to um, stay away from the world and charity. Hi, my name is Autumn. Um, my favorite parts were probably the a cappella singing with over 2,000 people. And then um, being on a bus ride with a bunch of tired teens, some interesting things happen. Um, I made the decision to just go and not hide with embarrassment because people are dying and going to hell when I'm too scared to go talk to somebody. So just to go talk to everybody I can. That's great. Yeah. Even on the way back as the teens were running into Walmart, we were getting gas, she took the time to spoke to a young lady took her all the way through the plan of salvation. Yeah. Yeah. She Amen. said that she prayed the prayer that night, so I'm very proud of all of you. Amen. Yeah. Uh, my favorite thing was when we made it rain in the auditorium, and uh, my decision was to not keep secrets from or for my friends. Hi, my name's Tashina. Um, it was uh, just such a great time. I can't think of a favorite thing I did, because spending time with the teens was just every single time. Um, one of the decisions I made was they had a great youth worker session and it is a lot, a lot of things I need to work on. It's hard to pinpoint just the one. But I took a lot of notes and I just came away with a lot of things that I hope will be helpful for teens. Yeah. My name is Lizzie Ann Dubai. The Probably the funnest thing is getting to spend time with these guys at Six Flags and uh, they all conquered their fears for sure, even Andrea. <laughs> uh, but it was great. I enjoyed that. Um, there was a lot of great preaching. Um, Joe Brown was my favorite. He really put in a lot of things. But mine would have to be the split sessions for the ladies. They talked about things. Um, one lady stood up and she talked about being a bus kid um, and how she's grown in the Lord. And I mean, I've been a bus kid my whole life. So I just, you know, she put that even though we may not be youth pastors or youth, you know, actual youth leaders, working with the youth, your little part still is an investment in them. Um, and I just made the choice that no matter what, my little part is don't let you know Satan tell me that I'm not investing in their life. Amen. And I'm definitely thankful for the chaperones that came. We had. I know. I'm not forgetting <laughs> this time. <laughs> <laughs> this time. But I'm thankful for the chaperones that came. They took off work. They had to sacrifice parts of their schedule. So I'm very thankful. Brother Moore, do you want to say anything? Yes, I made a very fleshly decision uh, no, that I retired from bus drivers. <laughs> such a trooper for him to be on there with uh, 22 teenager or 22 other people. You've got a crown in heaven waiting for you. All right, Raymond. So the funnest thing that I did at, at, at a youth conference was definitely the fireworks show is great and uh, also Six Flags. But the decision that I've made is to use my sphere of influence when it comes to social media and being online to shine a light within the uh, within the community and the world because I'll give you a statistic here. Every two minutes, 140 people pass into eternity. And if I can be the positive light on a social media platform for them, then it, if that's the only thing they see, I've done my job. Yes, I, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, it's called BCTV Ambassador for Christ. It stands for Biblically Correct Television because the last thing I want is for 
it to be uh, politically correct because we know how stuff that goes. But uh, go check it out, like, subscribe. Um, it'll be a help to you. All right, let's give them a big hand. Again, thank you so much for investing in them. It is worth